Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, a Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky. The second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? Are you guys ready to rise and grind? I am ready to rise and grind today. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. Today, I'm going to tell you a story with a lesson that is going to teach you how to connect with your higher self. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. Today, I'm going to teach you a lesson on how to connect with your higher self. Today, I'm going to teach you a lesson on how to dive directly into the zone. Would anybody out there like to know how to dive directly into the zone? You know, that zone where everything just goes right, that zone where everything falls, that zone where it just all works. I'm going to teach you how to get into that zone. Today, I'm going to teach you a lesson on self-discipline, sacrifice, and ultimate success. Today, I'm going to teach you the true reason that I rise and grind. How you guys feel about that? How you feel about that? But before we do any of that, let's get the music going. Let's get some music going. Let's get our chair dance on. Let's get the energy up in here because we are going to have an incredible episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. What's up, everybody? Good morning, my good friend, Scott Simon. Good morning, Sean Hayes. What's up, my man? Good morning, Mike Blankenship and Bambi. What's up? What's up? Good morning, Carrie Osborne, AJ Anderson, Charlie McHale. Throw your good mornings in the comments. I want to know that you're here. Good morning, Vicki Everett. Good morning, Eddie Gilbert and Rick Berman. Make sure, make sure you hit that share button. I need you to hit that share button. We got to get this out. I got a powerful message for everybody today. And these things are always better live. So don't wait till the end. Hit that share button. Now let's get everybody up in here. You feel it? You feel it? Hit share, man. Come on. Get everybody up in here. Do me that favor today. I need everybody to hear this message today. Everybody needs to hear what we got going in the hashtag Rise and Grind this morning. All right? So hit that share button. Let's get them up in here. Let's get this thing rolling. You guys having a good morning? Everybody having a good morning? If you're having a good morning, put it in the comments. I want to feel it. Let's get this thing going. You feel me? You feel me? All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Check it out. Man, I wish I could just play music the whole time sometimes because then it gets quiet. <laughs> but in the quiet, we got some good stuff, man. Facebook's been weird lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Facebook's been weird. It's been doing something with my videos. Every once in a while, they'll like freeze up and it won't let some people watch. It lets other people watch. We won't have any problems during the live, uh, but it's only, you know, in the after view. And I don't know. It's really strange. It's really strange what Facebook's been doing with my videos, so I need you guys' help. I really need your help. If you don't normally hit share, please hit share today. Please. Just today, hit share, and hit share now, because you'll forget later, okay? Go ahead and share this thing out. We're going to have a powerful episode today, all right? Now, check it out. I, I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you today, okay? I'm going to be 100% honest with you today. I'm going to be vulnerable with you today. I'll be honest, I was sitting there this morning, I was thinking, what am I going, what should I talk about today on hashtag rise and grind, man? And I, and I really couldn't, you know, I could always, I was like, I could talk about this or I could talk about that. There's so many different things that kind of pop into my head when I ask that question. But then for some reason today, I didn't like any of the things that Glenn wanted to talk about. I didn't like any of them. And so I was sitting there and I, I just, I, 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 I put my pen down. And I asked God, I said, God, what do you want me to talk about today? What do you want me to talk about on today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind? What does somebody that's going to be on today's feed, 
somebody that somebody else is going to share and it's going to hit their feed, what do they need to hear today? What do they need to hear today? And God said, well, here's what they need to hear, Glenn. I need you to be vulnerable today. He said, I need you to be vulnerable. He said, I need you to remember that you, the guy that you are today, you haven't been this guy very long. And I'm like, well, what do you mean I haven't been this guy very long, you know? Like, I've been trying. I've been working towards this guy for a long time. This Glenn Lundy guy, I'm proud of this guy. I like this Glenn Lundy guy. He's helping people. He's encouraging people. He's lifting people up. He's had a successful dealership. He's, he's made moves. He's raising his kids. He's a positive guy, right? That, that's, and, and God's like, yeah, dude, that's right. But, but, but you got to remember, Glenn, you got to remember that it wasn't that long ago. It, was, it wasn't more than even just about like over a year ago, you were still hanging out in the bars, man. You were still going out in the bars every once in a while. Sure, you'd stay home a lot, but there were still those nights where you were going out to the bars, those nights where you, where you were going out and stay out till 4 a.m. There were still those random nights where you would get you'd get you'd drink more than you should drink those random nights where maybe you would you would jump in the car and drive home you remember those and i'm like oh man <laughs> yeah god i kind of remember those i remember those but that was just me partying a little bit you know there ain't nothing wrong with that and then god was like glenn do you remember do you remember when you met your wife you just met your wife you met her 8 years ago and do you remember your life was still chaos when you met your wife, do you remember that she got pregnant out of wedlock? Do you remember that she, you, uh, you, you, you guys broke up. You were dating someone else while she was pregnant with your child. Do you remember that? Do you remember that that barely after you guys got married that you had your second baby? And do you remember that that whole time before she got pregnant with the second child, you were working in bars till three o'clock in the morning, getting drunk every night? Do you remember that guy, Glenn? Because that wasn't that long ago. That wasn't that long ago. He reminded me this morning. He tapped me. He said, Glenn, that wasn't that long ago. He said, do you remember when you first started at Dan Cummins? Do you remember when you very first started and you were driving a 1998 Toyota 4Runner? Do you remember that? It had 250,000 miles and you guys had just moved into some low-income housing in Paris, Kentucky. Do you remember that, Glenn? Because it wasn't that long ago. You guys moved from one place to another. You had to have help. Someone had to help you because you didn't have money to get in. You guys were broke. You had nothing. Do you remember that, Glenn? I was like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I hear you. I hear you, and I hear, I hear exactly what you're, what you're trying to say. And he said he, he still he, didn't, he wasn't done yet. He said, Glenn, do you remember, do you remember that you didn't even used to go to bed with your wife about a year ago? Do you remember that church wasn't a priority to you about a year ago? And I was like, dang, man, you're right, man, because here's what I used to do. I used to go to work. Even I was having success at Dan Cummins and, and, and we were having our babies in my marriage I thought was great. But what I would do is I would I would get home whenever I got home and I felt like I needed to unwind and my wife would go to bed at like nine o'clock or nine thirty and I would go upstairs and I would play video games still. I'd play PlayStation or I'd do something and I would drink beers until I finally went to bed at twelve and then I'd get up in time to to uh, do a few things in the morning as far as I was writing my goals. I was doing my gratitude list. I was doing a couple of those things. And then I'd run off to work at whatever time I got there. That wasn't that long ago. That wasn't that long ago. I had dreams, I had visions, and I had goals. But here's what I lacked. Here's what I lacked, and here's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I lacked discipline. I lacked commitment. I lacked both of those things. I lacked discipline and commitment. I lacked discipline and commitment to a better life for me. I lacked discipline and commitment for a, for a better life for my wife. I lacked discipline and commitment for a better life for my family. I lacked all of that. 
Then I went to a conference, a growth con conference that Josh Cummins was kind enough to, to take me to. And Danelle Delgado helped change my life. Then I started diving deeper into church and into my faith and into myself, and it changed my life. And I met Hank and Steve with Two Market Media, and they helped bring me out. They helped show me how to do more videos, and it changed my life. And then I created Rise and Grind, this show with you guys that if you haven't done it yet, hit that share button. <laughs> you guys are like, Glenn, quit harping on it. I'm serious, man. Somebody needs to hear what I've got to say today. Somebody needs to hear what I've got to say today. So if you haven't hit share yet, hit it. So then I created this show, hashtag rise and grind. And, and once I created this show and made the commitment and went all in and started to develop the disciplines that come with having a show at 5.30 a.m., having to show up, having to make good decisions the night before so I can be here with you the morning after, guess what happened? God chose me. He chose me. Once I made the commitment, once I discovered the discipline, God chose me to start sharing with you guys. He chose me. You know how incredible that feels? Do you know how it feels amazing to know that God is using me? It feels amazing to know. It's amazing. It is the most powerful feeling in the world when you know that you are walking with, with your, the, the, just when you are tapping into the best version of self. It's amazing. So here's what I want to share with you, you guys today. I'm going to share with you three things. Three things, okay? Do you, and, and first, I guess I'll ask you a question. Do you want to tap into the best version of yourself? Do you want to tap into the best version of yourself? I think that you do. I think that's why you're rising grinding with me today. I think you really do. I think you want to tap into the best version of yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. If you want to do that, if you want to tap into the best version of yourself, there's one thing I need you to do. There's one thing that I need you to do today that will help you tap into the best version of yourself. And that's, I need you to pray. I need you to pray. Now, you guys, I'll be honest. This is tough for me. It's tough for me to say this out loud because it's something that I struggle with. I have a tough time praying out loud with my kids. I have a tough time in prayer. I, I, I do it a lot of times in my head. I do, but it's tough. But sometimes we are so busy trying to do everything ourselves. Sometimes we are so busy thinking that we are in ultimate control of this universe. And I'm here to tell you this morning, if you want to tap into the best version of yourself, you need help. From the creator, the one that created you. And in order to get help, you have to pray. Simple. Ask for help. Pray. I prayed this morning. God, help me. And he did. I've prayed in the past. God, help me. And he does. And it's crazy because our life will get good. Our life will get average. Our life will get mediocre and we'll stop praying. When do we normally pray? When we're down on our luck. God, please help me find a way to pay this bill. God, help me get out of jail. God, help me. That's when we want to pray. But when things are good, we're like, nah, man, we got this. I got this, bro. We're good. And it's not till everything starts to fall back apart that we ask for help. My challenge to you today is to pray. Ask for help. Now, do you want to know how to get directly into the zone? Do you want to know how to be in the zone all the time, every day? Here's how you can go directly into the zone all the time, every day. If you want to be in the zone, you know that zone where Jordan's just dropping, he's just dropping the hoops like this big? You know that zone where you feel like nothing can go wrong? Do you want to be in that zone all the time? I can tell you how to get in that zone. Have faith. Have faith. When you believe it will happen for you, when you believe it can happen for you, 
It will happen for you, man. I'm telling you. I'll, I'll give you a quick little story. I throw a big 4th of July event every year. Last year I had our, yeah, last year. Was it last year? Maybe it was two years ago. We were going to have about 300 people over for 4th of July. And it was raining like crazy on the 4th of July. And the weather called for rain all day and all night on the 4th of July. And people were messaging me saying, hey, Glenn, are you going to cancel your party? Hey, Glenn, are you going to cancel your party? It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. And I said, it is not going to rain. It's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. God blessed us with this beautiful day. God's giving us an opportunity to spend time together in community that we don't normally get. God put it on my heart to build this event, to create this event. God gave this to me so we could spend time in community. It's not going to rain. And everybody thought I was crazy. But I'll tell you what happened. About an hour before the party started, it stopped raining. And when my last firework went off, the very last firework went off, at the end of the night, and as that last firework popped, the first raindrop fell. It didn't rain on my party. Now, I know you might think that's crazy, but that's the faith that moves mountains. Look, John Hinkson just commented about it. John Hinkson was there. John Hinkson was there. It's called faith. When you have faith, you can move mountains. When you have faith, you're in the zone. When you have faith, you can create things that you never imagined because God's got your back, man. He's got your back. So if you want to live in the zone where everything just works out right, everything seems to come together for you, and you're like, man, this is crazy, you have to have faith. And the third thing, I told you guys I'm going to talk to you about three things today. The third thing is if you really want to succeed, man, you want to reach some high levels of success in your life, success in your marriage, success in your relationship, success in your career, you are going to have to make a sacrifice. You are going to have to exchange something not good for you for things that are good for you. You are going to have to sacrifice staying up late playing video games and drinking beer so that you can climb into bed with your wife at a decent hour. You're going to have to make the sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice staying up all night late so that you can get up early and rise and grind. You can't have both. You cannot reach the levels you want to reach without sacrifice. Do you understand what I'm saying today? Listen, for those of you that came in late, I asked God a question this morning. I said, God, help guide me with a message that somebody needs to hear today. And here was the message that he gave me and the message I'm sharing with all of you today. The message is simple. It's three parts. It's three parts. If you want your life to move in the direction you want it to move in, if you want your life to change today, if you want God to choose you, to choose to use you, and to choose to put the blessings in, uh, upon your life, if you want that, I need you to pray, I need you to have faith, and I need you to make a sacrifice. Prayer, faith sacrifice that's the message today prayer faith sacrifice those are the words we all need to hear and what's really crazy man is if you think about it there's a story there's a story about a guy that did that for us a long time ago man his name's jesus christ if you haven't heard of him but there's a story about how he did just that didn't he you think about it, when he died on the cross, what did he do? He prayed, Jesus, why? Why do you forsake me? He prayed, he talked to God. And then what did he have? He had faith. He had faith that his father knew what he was doing. He walked into that situation. He, he purposely allowed himself to be put in the situation, the creator of the universe, he spoke out in prayer, he had faith, and then he made the ultimate sacrifice. That's what we are called to do as human beings. That's what you are called to do today. When you pray, you connect with your higher self. When you have faith, you are in the zone. And when you make sacrifices, you find success. 
pray, faith, success, or <laughs> you'll find success. Pray, faith, sacrifice. In case you forgot to do it earlier, please hit that share button. I know that God wants somebody to hear this today. There's somebody sitting there right now in your circle, somebody connected to you some way, somehow, somebody that wants to become this, somebody that wants to become unrecognizable. They want this, but they don't know how. They don't know how to find it. They don't know how to connect. They don't know where. They don't know where it's at. And I'm telling you, today, today, that person, it's right here, man. They want to become unrecognizable. They jump into the hashtag rise and grind. It's made me unrecognizable. It's made you unrecognizable. God chose this group to do these things. Somebody needs to hear it. Hit that share button, man. We are a group of completely, I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing, man. You are this elite member of, uh, of this group, this group of people that choose to every day. We choose to rise and grind, right? And you're putting all these posts and positivity. You're putting it into people's feeds, and it's making an impact on your life and their life and all the people around you. You're making an impact on this planet, and it's absolutely amazing. It's amazing. You see, you are the, a child of God, okay? If you haven't heard that today, that's what you need to hear. You are a child of God. God, uniquely created to be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And that's why I love this group. That's why I love you. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I absolutely love you. All right? I absolutely love you. Go out there today and kill it. It's June 21st, 2018. First and last time it'll ever be June 21st, 2018. Make it a powerful day. Make it a absolutely amazing day and if you need more videos go to glennlundy.com there's more there if you need your rise and grind gear or if you haven't got your limited edition unrecognizable shirt with the five things you have to do every single day on the back go to glennlundy.com there's an event coming august 12th that is going to be powerful we are going to rock and roll there's going to be music and speakers and it is going to be one of the most incredible days in bourbon county's history I promise you this is the case because I have absolute faith that this is a God's hands type event. It's going to be incredible. If you haven't got your tickets yet, go to glennlundy.com. Have a great day today. Tomorrow morning, Kelsey Malico joins us on hashtag rise and grind at 530 a.m. as we do what we do, which is pop on here and change our lives. Dude, I don't even want to go. But I got to go because I got to go golfing with my daughter. Sacrifices. <laughs> That's not really a sacrifice. Golf with your daughter. It's pretty cool stuff. All right. See you tomorrow morning, 530 a.m. as we hashtag rise and grind.